Hey everyone, my name is April Rush and I'm an Emerald Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. And today I want to talk to y'all about the first of the month. The first of the month just is so exciting because we're all trying to wait in anticipation of what corporate's gonna roll out or what is our month gonna look like. But before we just propel ourselves forward into the month, we must analyze what happened last month. Maybe what didn't happen last month. And so you have to look at what goals did you have set for yourself? Now, when you're setting goals, typically there's about three goals you need to set personally. So one is your personal joints. How many people do you wanna personally help? Okay, you should always be going at least silver. Two, um, how are you gonna duplicate? How many silvers are you gonna produce? Is it gonna be very, you know, deeper silvers? What is it gonna look like? So you always wanna think about duplicating. And then three, are you close to a rank? Are you ranking up? Are you closing that gap in? But you should always have in mind your rank. Are you re-ranking? So keep that all in mind. And then go ahead on the first, think about, did you hit your goals? Did you not? If you did, congratulations. It takes intentionality um, to hit all of those goals. Goals don't just hit themselves, okay? Um, those girls who you see on the leaders board or people who their teams are just on fire, they're ranking, double ranking, there's a reason, okay? If you did not hit your goals, it's usually one of three things, okay? One, belief. Okay, belief is in four different areas and it must be solid. Okay, belief in the products, belief in yourself, belief in the opportunity, and belief in the industry. If those four areas are not solid, you are going to waver. So there are many things you can do to build your belief, but don't stay stuck. Belief can really bog you down. And the good thing is, like I said, you can build that belief, but you have to choose to do it, okay? Secondly, your mindset plays a ginormous role when it comes to what we do. It's 80% between our ears, okay? So if you are telling yourself these lies, if you are comparing yourself, if you're just a negative Nancy who always sees the glass half empty, or maybe you're blaming your upline, you're blaming the products, you're blaming your network, holy cow, your mindset stinks, okay? And maybe I'm the one that has to tell you that today. But many times when I see girls are stuck, it's because their mindset is just horrible. They're glass half empty. So work on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do positive affirmations. Listen to podcasts where people specifically work on your mindset. There's so many resources out there that you can tap into, but just don't stay stuck. And then the third thing is, did you do the work? Ouch, right? Did you do the work? It takes work to hit a new rank, to get joins coming in, to duplicate on your team. It doesn't just accidentally happen. So did you do income producing activities? What is that? That's your new messages, your new contacts to people, that initial message, that's following up with people, okay? And then there's other things, there's social media, there's your own personal growth. There's so many different things, but if you aren't actually showing up consistently and doing the work, then that's probably why you did not hit your goals. This is not a lottery ticket. This isn't something that just, oh my gosh, she's lucky. It literally takes work. So analyze last month, figure out why you hit your goals. Why did you not? Um, and then go from there. What changes do you have to make so you can hit your goals this month? And then, like I said, you should be setting about three goals for yourself. And I hope this helps. Um, Y'all can do it. The first of the month is so exciting. And it starts with you and your posture. Are you excited? What is this month going to bring? So I hope this helps and hope y'all have a great day.